Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I'm going to show you how to make banana play-doh. I found this recipe that I think is really interesting. I'm going to try it for the first time. And I think it's like good, especially if you have overripe bananas that they are sitting in your, on your counter and you wanted to throw them away, you can use them and maybe your kids would like to play with it is taste free so it's great for toddlers or little kids that are still um, trying to eat that kind of stuff or they are mouthing so it's safe and i'm going to show you how to make it but first if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle i upload a new video every week okay so let's get started okay we are going to need ripe or overripe bananas, vegetable oil, cornstarch, water, and flour. First, we mash the banana, as I did here. Then, in a bowl, we combine the water, the banana, and the oil, and mix well. And then in another bowl, we combine the flour and the cornstarch and we mix it very well. My bowl was a little small, so then I pour everything to a bigger bowl, the cornstarch and the flour, and then the water, the oil, and the banana. And we mix everything together. use a mixer or a dough hook as I use here and we mix the ingredients until the dough is fluffy and smooth and you can no longer feel any bits of banana. Then I use my hands to make sure I get the consistency of a play-doh. It was coming together very well. If you think it's still wet or sticky, you can pour a little a tablespoon of flour. Or if it's the opposite, it's too dry, slowly add water, one teaspoon, until you get the consistency you want. This acts like a traditional play-doh, only a slightly stretcher but it's perishable, so make sure you use it right away. Now the moment of truth. Olivia is going to try playing with this banana play-doh. See? Are you ready? Let's listen. Vamos a ver, we have a roller here, some cookie cutters, I think the other one's here, a little knife. So yes, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, well, vamos a ver. Muy bien. Esto, mira. Vamos a sacar un pedacito. Wow, mira. ¡Oh! Wow. <laughs> wow. Mira, voy a sacar un pedazo grande. Mira, Olivia, mira. Mira. Mira aquí. ¡Wow! ¡Wow! Estrella. ¿Otra vez? Mira, no, corta, cortadito con el cuchillo. Mira. Voy a con el roller. Oh, wow. Start. Agárralo con tu mano, mira. Okay. It's a good sensory activity for them. She can squeeze it and play with it. Muy. She just wants to cut it, apparently. It's just... See? Yeah. 
Всем A ver, ay, corazón, mira. wow, corazón, corazón, <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! <gasps> Tira, stretch, stretches. What I think is Olivia approved. She likes it, I think. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> See. Wow. Wow. See. Oh. Well, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like it. And as you can see, uh, this is a great sensory activity for toddlers, for little kids. Olivia liked it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>